Well, about 8% of the lakes here in Minnesota have some sort of invasive plant or animal living in them. That's right. These species can harm our native plants and our animals and also make our lakes, you know, less enjoyable. But how can we recognize them? Hannah Flood joins us live at Bryant Lake in Eden Prairie with more on this. Good morning, Hannah. Hey, good morning, Tom and Alex. Yeah, here at Bryant Lake, there are three different kind of invasive species. So there's all of these, you know, posters, signs up reminding boaters of what rules they have to follow to prevent the spread of invasive species, right? That's draining out the boat, that's making sure you're not carrying around vegetation on your motor. But besides that, there are more ways that regular people like you and me can help the DNR identify where invasive species are spreading to. One of those ways is just being educated ourselves on how to identify invasive species. And the U of M Extension is doing some work to help the public with that. They are holding these uh, educational series. There's two of them coming up next week. They're online and it teaches people how to discern between native or invasive species. And they say getting help from the public who can identify these and then report to the DNR really helps them prevent the spread of invasive species. It allows for control to happen or management um, if, if it's, you know, an appropriate option at the time of that. Um, but also it helps other people know that there's invasive species there and that they need, need to be taking some extra prevention measures before moving to another water body. Okay, I want to play a little game with all of you at home right now to see if you can identify invasive species. So on your screen right now, you see three images of crayfish, A, B, and C. Two of these crayfish are invasive. One is native to Minnesota. So I want you to take a look and see if you can guess which crayfish is the native to Minnesota. I'll give you a second. The answer is C, all the way on the right, C. That is the calico crayfish. You can find it, according to the DNR, just about anywhere in Minnesota. Usually they hide under the mud. A good way to tell if a crayfish is native to Minnesota, none of the native crayfish are going to have those red or rusty spots on them. All of those are going to be invasive. Pretty cool, pretty easy to learn about. I want to show you uh, this next image. It's a guidebook that the University of Minnesota Extension has online. It's 72 pages. It goes through crayfish, regular fish, plants. Shows you what native plants look like compared to the invasive species. So a really cool and easy way to get educated. And you know, Tom and Alex, if you travel to a lot of lakes during the summer, or maybe you're just looking for something fun and educational for the kids to do this summer, you can learn about all of this stuff, learn how to identify and then report invasive species to the DNR and you can help our lakes be even more beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And Alex was just showing me on her phone a crayfish. That yeah, I came, yeah. Uh, that she came out of the creek, wow. out of the creek recently. So I was like, I didn't realize they ah, were here. There so, you know. yep, Good they to exist. Know. Not well, some of them are supposed to be here, some mm -hmm. of them aren't. Right. So you right. can uh, take a look at that guide and figure out which one. Let's kick out the ones who don't belong. That's, right. that's what we do. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate Hannah. it, Hannah.